Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, I am going to be leaving my alliance, and I wanted to make a video about why I'm leaving. Now, I'm not going to bash the alliance. Don't expect that. The alliance is a good alliance. Uh, if you want to join them, feel free to hit me up, and I'll try to put you in contact with someone. Uh, but I'm leaving because I'm no longer a good fit. And I'll explain a little bit more. But first, let me give you a little bit of a history uh, with this alliance. Now, I joined this alliance two years ago, over two years ago, uh, sometime in October of 2018. At the time, Super Vega Man was the alliance leader. And he was a great leader. He inspired and he earned my respect and my loyalty, and I don't give my loyalty very easily. But very quickly, we learned that we both looked at things very similarly, and the way that we approached the game was very similar as well. He noticed that I like to get things done quickly. I was very, very active and available, and he liked that. He actually told me one time that I was the type of player that made him want to keep playing. All right. So that was Super Vega Man. Now, over two years ago, this alliance was first called Omni 2. We were the sister alliance of Omni. And some things happened and Super Vega Man made a choice to break away from Omni and to create Pimp. Uh, and that was voted for. I didn't vote for that name, by the way. Um, but it was put to a vote, and the majority chose that as the acronym, Pimp Players in Masters or Platinum. Now, when I first joined, I was coming from an alliance that was gold uh, two or three. I think we hit gold one once. There was no platinum four at the time, and this was the highest uh, alliance that I have joined you know i was not in any alliance that was ever in platinum and i was a little worried uh about whether i could handle it so uh, i joined this alliance killer bz actually put me in touch before i could even start uh looking for an alliance killer bz was like hold on let me talk to some people and he talked to super vega man and got me in there and i was a big fan of killer bz uh, he was in one of the sister alliances to the previous alliance that I was in. So uh, I talked to Super Vega Man, and I forget who else I spoke to, and they invited me in, and I joined. All right, so things were wonderful. Uh, if you watch my early war videos around October 2018, I believe it was season five. Um, I think season five was the first season that I was with this alliance. Don't quote me on that, um, but I believe that was our first season together. Now, at the time, the alliance was actually Platinum 3. After that season, we became Platinum 2. And then the next season, we were Platinum 1. So we were headed. We were serious. We were strong. And then they changed the Alliance Quest rewards. Now, I've never liked Alliance War, but I like the rewards, and so I do it. But I loved Alliance Quest. When they increased the rewards, this is before they put in epic modifiers or anything like that, uh, it was my favorite game mode. Okay? And a vote was taken whether we should become an AQ-focused alliance. The vote came back overwhelmingly, let's go AQ focused. So after that, our alliance became AQ focused, which means all of our um, focus, all of our items, all of our, you know, um, attention needed to be first and foremost, uh, first and foremost, uh, alliance quest. That was our priority. But we didn't want to let alliance war go. So this is about the time that map seven 
was released. So we wanted to get used to map seven first. We got used to it. Then we started to, uh, you know, get a little bit uh, more serious in Alliance War. Now, uh, I know there was some discussions that were had uh, about our name, you know, players in Masters or Platinum. If we're not in Platinum, then we may need to change our name, right? But um, we took a vote again, and Platinum 4 was fine. Uh, if we could get Platinum 3, great, but we were still going to do it more relaxed, okay? Uh, I remember one season, we lost every single war, and we still ended up, I think, goal one, something like that. So with minimal effort, we should be able to get and keep in Platinum. And so that was the general consensus. Um, now, Super Vega Man had some personal life issues uh, take place. And he had to step down from being Alliance leader. And he left the game briefly and the Alliance. Now, at that time, I was going to leave. And he asked me to stay. Now, the reason I was going to leave at that time, first of all, understand that I do not give my allegiance to alliances. I am a personal relationship type of a person. OK, now that's different from a lot of people. And I understand if that's not how you are, but, you know, people will do things for the alliance. And so will I. But when it comes to my loyalty, it's for individuals that have earned it, not for an entity. OK, now I'm a loyal type of a person anyway. So uh, when Super Vega Man left and I saw how things were and they were not improving they got worse now uh, one of the things that caused me to leave one of my previous alliances was a lot of slow movement i couldn't stand it when i was an uh, officer for that battle group i ran a tight ship we were flexible but we got stuff done and we were done with alliance quest hours before it ended that way people didn't have to keep checking and, you know, worry about whether they were cleared. We just got stuff done. And this is before they reduced the timers. OK, we were still on the one hour timers and we were able to do that. OK, but things were very, very slow. Now, I am available because I don't work. YouTube is what I do currently. So I have a lot of free time and I understand that not everyone has that much free time. All right. So what I started to do instead of me waiting around, fuming, getting frustrated because people aren't moving for hours and I'm sitting there waiting for hours. I said, you know what? I'm just going to lay back and they tag me. I'll come in and I'll move, you know, um, I'll check back periodically. Um, in case they didn't tag me, but I'm just going to take it easy. All right. But people seem to be resentful of the fact that I would comment on the slow movement. And a lot of times, you know, they would say things like, I have to work. I've got a family. Okay. I got other things to do. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. In fact, they should be your priority. However, in a game like this, I would prefer to play with people who also have the time to put in. Now, keep in mind, as an officer of my other alliance, there were people that worked, had families. There was a guy that worked in a call center. He only had two breaks, morning, afternoon, and a 30-minute lunch break. And he still made it work because we worked together and we made sure that he was clear so that during his break, he was able to move as far as he could. And that was it. OK. And then the next time we knew he'd be able to move during his lunch break, he did that. And it worked out beautifully. And we still managed to get done early. OK. Um, but again, you know, that's fine. But then I started seeing, like I said, little comments that showed me that they were resentful. 
You know, they would actually say stuff to make it seem like I'm the one who's holding everybody up. Okay. Now I sat there, waited for hours and nothing. And then when they're ready to move, that's when they started um, tagging me and saying, oh, 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 you know, where are you at? Where are you at? You know, now all of a sudden they're in a hurry. And usually I responded and I, you know, got in there because I'm available. But if I'm asleep, couldn't do it. Every once in a while, I might go out to get something to eat or, you know, shopping or something like that. And I would get back and I would play, you know, as fast as I could. But there was still hours that there was just no movement at all. All right. So I had already just, you know, said, you know, whatever, just going to relax and, you know, play as, as well as I could. So when the 45 minute timers came, I thought we were going to really be able to move now. We seem to go even slower. OK, um, so that was one thing. The climate, the, the you know, movement had changed because when Super Vega Man was there, folks moved. Now, one of the things that Super Vega Man did, um, which wore him out, I know, is when people weren't available, he would help them out, if you know what I mean. And he shouldn't have had to do that. He really shouldn't have. But when he left, that's what happened. These people are, they, they really just didn't have the time to move quickly. Okay. They just were too busy. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's frustrating for people who are not and who have to wait for them. And so that is why I was going to leave even earlier. So this is a situation that has been ongoing for a while. And then it started happening in Alliance War. All right. So now let's talk a little bit about Alliance War. Now, I'm not the best fighter at all, not even close. I'm also free to play. So that means I can't just spend money, buy some items, buy some units, and then uh, heal myself up and go. Can't do it. Okay. So what Super Vega Man did as a good leader, he learned everyone's strengths and weaknesses. And he asked, we got assigned to different paths. Now, originally I was doing path one because guess what? That was the path that I didn't have to wait for anybody. And it was a longer path. You can go back and look at my early war videos and you'll see that I was usually one of the first, either first or second to clear my path because I didn't have to wait for anyone. OK, so that was why I originally got placed on path one. Now, of course, war changed. Nodes changed. Epic. I mean, not epic, but um, the defense tactics came in, map changed and everything like that. And I'm still over there on the left. Now, I don't have the deep roster that a lot of my alliance mates who do spend, not everyone spends, but a lot of them spend, you know, right now, for example, they've got multiple uh, rank three, six stars. That makes a big difference. You going into a, a alliance war and you're fighting against a six star rank three and you have a five star, um, you know, 65, you know, rank five, five star. Uh, it makes a difference if you go in there with a six star rank three, you know, and I stayed to the easier paths. Now, I would try my best not to die on the easy path. If I was asked to take a mini, I would take the mini. But the same slow movement in AQ was happening in Alliance War. And we were in a lot of wars down to the final minutes. Now, here's the problem. Now, I've been live streaming for years. Now, I've been in this alliance for years. I've been streaming longer than I was in the alliance. My schedule has not changed. 1 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Eastern, generally. That is when I stream, okay? Everyone knew this, and they work with me. Now, I never refused. If uh, they really needed me, someone would come on stream, and they would be like, hey, man, we need you to you know, help get the boss down. All right. So I run in there um, as long as it was not happening too often. All right. And so I didn't mind, you know, well, it was annoying because I'm a little OCD uh, to have to stop whatever I was doing. And it doesn't matter what I was doing. If I have to stop whatever I was doing to go do that, you know, I grumble, grumble, but I always went always. 
Okay. So um, that's the situation. All right. Been with the Alliance two years, two plus years. Um, been live streaming all that time. Never been a, a major issue. Things change. We, we got some new people in, um, some new officers in. Uh, some of them came from higher tier alliances, and they seem to want to change things around uh, when it came to Alliance War. Now, mind you, no vote was taken as to whether the Alliance wanted to go in that direction. Did they want to become more focused on Alliance War, or did they want to just get Platinum 4, Platinum 3, and not worry about it? No one was asked, okay? They just came in and did this, all right? now. The first war of this season, season 22, I have the video up. Go look at the video and look at the final fight because that's going to be what starts off the final events of why I'm leaving. OK, now, mind you, I already told you what was happening before and I was already moving towards that direction anyway. But these were the final nails in the coffin. OK. So that final war, you'll notice that there was like two minutes left on the boss. Now, no one came and told me anything. I'm live streaming like I have for years. And I had just finished a big grind. So I was actually just kind of winding down. I wasn't really um, uh, involved. Uh, well, I wouldn't say involved, but um, I wasn't really engaged yet to do um, the arena. So I was basically looking for all kinds of distractions. And I just happened to go look over at my line chat, which I don't normally do. And I saw that they were uh, asking people to come help with the boss. No one even uh, uh, came on to say anything to me. But I saw that, so live, I rushed over there, jumped in, and finished the boss with a couple of sec uh, a couple of minutes uh, left when I started the fight. I forget you can watch the video and see just how close that was. Okay. Now, after that, after that happened, I'm going to show you guys uh, what took place after that. Okay. So first, let's uh, let's uh, let me let me close this out real quick here. No, no, no. Okay. So let me show you first. This is what happened right after that fight. After I got that boss down, I posted up at the top as you see there, and you guys can read it. Pause it. Read this if you want. Um, but I sent that notice out because we had new people in and they may not know my schedule. Okay. So that is what I said. Look at the reply that I got back. Notice I got called a name even. Now that was from leadership. Now, when I say leadership, I include the, um, officers as well as the Alliance leader. And I don't wanna call anyone out for this. So I'm just gonna to refer to leadership to mean either the leader or an officer, one of them, okay? And that was the comment from leadership, okay? And then you'll notice someone else chimed in and agreed with them, all right? You see the comment that I put at the bottom. That was my reply to them. Okay. Now, let's uh, continue. Let's close that out. And that's the rest of my reply uh, to what you saw there. All right. You can pause it if you don't have time to read it. All right. Now, after that, this is what I got. Okay. Now, keep in mind, no member of leadership came to my defense, came and said, look, we know Lord Shadow. He's been with us for years. 
Um, he's been streaming at this time. He doesn't mind if you go there and, you know, um, let him know if he needs, you know, to come to Alliance War and help. Okay. No one said that at all. Instead, you know, one of the other members agreed with what I was saying, but then another member of leadership, this was their response to me. Okay. Now they are speaking to me as if I'm not a team player, as if my live streaming was negligible, you know? Now keep in mind, all of them have things that they do and they're busy and they can't be there to do whatever, okay? Two hours I live stream Monday through Friday, two hours. And even then, if they come on and say, hey, we need you to help, that's good. I will go and help, all right? But my issue was the slow movement. Now, keep in mind, I told you that earlier, AQ, slow movement, and Alliance War. We shouldn't be down to the wire like that. It should not be an issue, and it wasn't an issue when Super Vega Man was there. Was not an issue, okay? War finished early, all right? Now, uh, this is the last that was said on this. That was my last reply. That was the last thing that anyone said. But after this, I sensed a change in how they treated me, okay? And I felt like they were targeting me. Watch my Alliance Wars, and you'll see that they're starting to push me to do a lot more, okay? Um, and that's fine. I'm a soldier. I go in. Uh, a lot of times they set me up to fail. They sent me against someone that was not uh, good for me to fight with my current champions. But that's another story. All right. So now here is the announcement uh, by leadership of uh, changes. Okay. Now, this was sent in the our announcements chat. No problem with that announcement, except no one asked if this change was something desired by the majority of the alliance. They just came in, decided things were going to be changing, but yet we still had the slow movement. Okay. Uh, now, you'll notice they seem to be um, upset that you had only a few people doing some of the more difficult fights, even if they weren't ready uh, or not available or they didn't have the best counters to it. So they wanted to see a lot more people, um, a lot more teamwork, which is admirable. OK, that was good. Uh, but now watch this. Here's the next thing during an alliance war. OK, now. I want you to get a little background on what happened here. And you can see it in the Alliance War. Uh, I, and and someone on stream was asking me, you know, I seem to be a little bit down, like something was wrong. This was why. This is what was happening at that time. I had just gone up against a mini, okay, a Korg. And I was told <clears throat> that I had the best matchup versus that Korg. All energy attacks. I want you to notice something. There is no mention of the nodes. The nodes are what made that fight so difficult. So generally speaking, if it was just a Korg with no nodes, then yes, I did have the best counter for that Korg. But I didn't. But I still went in because I had been asked to fight that fight that I really wasn't assigned to because what we had started to do was assign fights, okay? So during that war, we had one person assigned the mini in section one. Another was assigned the mini in section two. I was assigned the mini to open up section two. It was a human torch. I went and did that. And I was also assigned a mini on Boss Island, man thing that I was gonna take out with my Black Widow clairvoyant. But for whatever reason, and I just wonder, I was being set up to fail because they started asking me to take Korg. 
And that was not a good matchup. And even later, uh, someone asked me, uh, you know, they say, Korg, usually Black Widow can take down Korg easy. And my response to them was, show me a video where Black Widow is taking down Korg on that node. Not just taking down Korg, because I've taken down Korg with Black Widow, Clairvoyant, but on that node. Because I wanted to learn. Everyone seemed to think that Black Widow can take that fight, so just show me, so I can learn how to do that fight. You know, that node was horrible. It was buffet and, and um, the uh, strike counters. Uh, you got power locked, and it, it just was not fun, okay? So I wanted to hear and see, you know, some techniques. What? How do you do it then, you know? Never heard anything back, all right? But the other thing is that you see I'm getting called out for not using any items. If you look at the um, screenshot, that is showing me, and you'll notice in the screenshot that my Black Widow Clairvoyant has half health. Do you know why she has half health in this screenshot of his? It's because I already went in there, failed, did a force quit to save my Black Widow Clairvoyant so that I could then take the um, uh, man thing with her, okay? That was why, all right? Now, I did mention that. Let me see if, uh, I think I still have the uh, comment. Yeah, here we go. So that was my response, okay? Let me move over here so you can see all of it. There we go, all right? So I told him I was the first to go against Korg. I got power lock and he healed, I force quit, okay? And I was like, but okay, I'll go again because someone had already taken man thing, but I wasn't able to get him down. And you can watch that war and you can see what happened. It was ugly, all right? Now, here's the next, and this was in a private message here, okay? So this is also from leadership. And this guy here is cool, okay? I have the feeling that he was getting a lot of pressure from some of those other ones that had that attitude. And so he was coming to me and, but notice he said, please be more active. Do you know what that feels like to someone like me who has had to tune down their activity level or else I'll be so frustrated? But yet I'm now being asked to be more active. Now, whether he was put up to that or not, I don't know. But I was seeing this attitude and it felt like I was being targeted. You know, and mind you, all of this happened after that encounter that we mentioned earlier. OK, so you can see here, I'm just basically letting him know, don't worry about it. I'm not going to be here after this season. And at the time, uh. I think this was after war six or seven or something like that. And I told him, you know, as you can see, you know, that's going to be it. This is, this is it for me, uh, for this alliance. So that, all of that is why I am leaving my alliance. Um, it's a good alliance. Uh, let me show you also here, one of the guys that I, um, have uh, fought with for a while, uh, he's leaving. He, he left. Uh, another officer also left. And you can see what he's saying. So it wasn't just me. And there was another, I'm not going to call anyone out, but someone else posted up their audio reply to one of the people who are coming in and this person's only coming in temporarily. Um, and basically, uh, what he was saying was how I felt as well. All right. Now, perhaps things will change. I will not rule out me returning at some point in time. Uh, that has not happened before. Uh, once I usually leave an alliance, that's it. Uh, but I will not close the door to that possibility. Um, but... In any case, that is why I am leaving my alliance. 
All right. Uh, so uh, I will leave officially and I'll do it, you know, in a in a recording. I'll, I'll probably add it to this here. Uh, I don't know whether I want to stay for uh, SA rewards. Um, I already got everything. I've gotten the uh, war rewards and everything. Uh, and basically 1000 shards, some, you know, four star shards. A couple of uh, T1 alphas, which are nice, uh, and these uh, uh, level two revives, team revives. Um, not that much uh, to do, but uh, not to, to leave. But before I leave, I want to, you know, make an announcement, let everybody know, you know, I just go. And uh, then I'll come back. And if they didn't kick me after hearing the announcement, I will leave and accept the invitation that you saw at the beginning of the video. All right, so stay tuned and we will be back. All right, we are back and I decided not to wait for the uh, Summoner Advancement Rewards. It's not that much uh, that I'll be leaving behind. And the gifting event has a 14 day um, lockout period where your points won't count unless you've been in the Alliance for 14 days. So the sooner we get in, the better it starts uh, later on in December. So we're fine. But the sooner we get into the new Alliance, the uh, faster our points will count. Okay, and there's still a little lockout period. Uh, but in any case, let's go ahead over here. And let's leave. And let us join. And just like that, we are a member of the Dorks Alliance. All right, so now let me uh, let my alliance know. Now, before I go, I did want to make one final comment, uh, and that was on the whole item usage thing. Uh, it seems like not using items was used against me. You know, they called me out for not using items without even checking to see what I had done, anything like that. They didn't like to see me not using items. And I believe that's the wrong attitude to have. Um, but again, I have nothing against anyone, no hard feelings. If that's the way they run things, it's, it's new leadership new personalities, new ways of doing things, new management styles, if you want to look at it that way. Okay, so no hard feelings, but it just doesn't suit me. Since I'm free to play, I was trying to use the least amount of items. And remember, we were not uh, focused on Alliance War. And so I was trying to use the least amount of items. And I noticed that the uh, higher end master level alliances they run things a little bit differently. And uh, if you watch BG, he doesn't take a lot of mini fights. Reason being, you want to have your best fighters take the more difficult fights. That just seems to make sense. Instead of just having everyone fight just because, um, have your good fighters. Now, I wish that there's some compensation we could give to the, you know, elite fighters uh, to help out. But, you know, it is what it is. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day. Don't forget to stay dorky.